Hi, sorry for no videos lately. This was some very busy month. I want to make one more video about this linear guide system. Next you will see my finished HHO bubbler and some tests. Then my glass blowing light project overview and then some cats. So let's begin. So you can see here that we can make a very low friction sliding blocks. The only problem however is that they are quite loose. The mounting surface is really nice and flat. But releasing this from mold is rather problematic. Also the shape of this block is not really nice. So to make things look and work better I have made a few changes to this process. So first I'm going to apply a film on the glass surface. Here I'm using cellophane. The surface will not be perfectly flat but it will be quite even. Even enough at least. At least I think. Also I have made a little form for curing epoxy. Using one form for all pieces is a very good idea. This way you can calculate the exact amount of epoxy you will need. However even this design has many flaws and it's in no way perfect. It would be perfect if you don't have to use the spacer blocks and if you don't have to seal it and if you can get rid of the bubbles and... Yeah, that's basically it. Then it would be perfect. But as I said, using epoxy for this application is not a good idea, so... Yeah, build some sliding blocks, build a CNC and machine it from some other material. Yes, yeah, so releasing this from this mold is much easier now. Funny thing is that that hot glue seal is holding this hexagonal rod much tighter than the epoxy itself. Also you should let the epoxy cure in this form with the hexagonal rod at least for 24 hours because it can change the dimensions so this process is very slow. This form is made of POM. That's delorine del or polyoxymethylene or polyacetal or however you call it. By the way, POM is absolutely very nice material for sliding applications. The inside of this form is milled, so it's not very smooth. However, it slides so well that the releasing epoxy from this form requires almost no force. In this case, about 60 kilograms to be exact. Here I am making reliefs for the edges for hexagonal rod. Yeah, also you may notice that I have switched from the brass rod to normal stainless steel rod. I found that this way there is almost no play and it slides really nicely. However, some lubrication is really necessary. Okay, so see you later.